allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Wolfson. Here. Ostergren. Here. Milburn. Here. 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 Approval of the agenda. So move, Madam, so move, Madam Chair. Discussion? Roll call? Russo? Yes. Spencer? Yes. Wolfson? Yes. Ostergren? Yes. Milburn? Yes. Public comment. Do we have any public comment? Mano? Green lights already on. Nice to somebody. Good morning, Board of Commissioners, Jody and Michelle, members of the public. Um, Why are you? I'm Ken Melvin, Gears Township resident, past commissioner. When I was first elected, there was a culture of water banking. That ended on Higgins Lake when I was elected. It was determined conclusively, and it's been um, upheld by an appellate court that water banking is not legal, it shouldn't be done. But for many, many years, it was the culture of the board for Houghton and St. Helen to bank water. And that was always a problem for me on Higgins because they see, you know, the, the thing was always, you can bank water on Houghton and St. Helen, but you can't bank water on Higgins. Well, you know, what's what, you know, let, let, so that, that was always an issue. I, Jody will kind of test, I, I cautioned the people that were in charge of the control devices you're doing something that isn't legal. You need to go back and change the court order if you want a higher level on any of the lakes. It's not the way to do it the way it was done. So for a long time there was, a, and you, you had Mr. Bumgarner, retired judge come in here at the last meeting complaining about this culture of water banking. So that ended. So then for 10 years, I took care of the Higgins Lake con level control structure. And you can look at the USGS website, the chart, and you can see conclusively, you can have other people's opinions, but the fact is for 10 consecutive years, the lake level in the summer and the winter, the average, not any particular day, not any particular month, but on average, for 10 years after I was doing the dam, the lake level went up every single year for 10 years in a row with the structure that's there now. Not to say that I was operating it the way people wanted it because the fisheries, the fisheries report and recommendation is no, you're operating it improperly. You're not doing it for anybody else except the old white haired dudes on Higgins Lake with a lot of money that have a, too big of a boat and an improper boat hoist. You don't have a lake level problem on Higgins Lake. You have a boat hoist problem with old white haired dudes with too much money that don't want to get their feet wet. I know people that bought property on Higgins Lake recently in a shallow area. They had a boat designed to operate in shallow water. Instead of demanding that the lake level be altered, they were going to get along with the way things are have a proper boat and then they had a boat hoist designed to operate in shallow water. No problem. I got another friend. He was having a little bit of a problem when the water got low. He got a new boat hoist that is designed to operate in shallow water. I mean, these people, they complain about they can't get their boat off the hoist. As soon as they do get the boat off the hoist, it floats. But it's a lake level problem. It's not their boat hoist. I don't, you know, there are boat hoists that are designed to operate in shallow water. Put your money into that. Another thing, the fish. For several years after I started taking care of the dam and going down there regular in the springtime, there were hundreds of thousands of natural fish reproduction from Marl Lake 
that could not get into Higgins Lake because of the way it was operated with a small opening and the water was too fast for minnows to go through. So bait harvesters, commercial bait harvesters have to get their minnows from somewhere. You have to be a licensed bait harvester and they're allowed with a permit and a fee to come into the Cut River, herd the minnows down to the bridge, scooped them up by the hundreds of thousands in, in nets and pails and dumped them into a huge truck full of water and, and there went our natural reproduction from Morrow Lake in the Cut River to be used who knows where for bait instead of being allowed. They, they should have been dumped over the dam. They should have been picked up. The, the county should have been responsible because they're operating the dam so that the natural reproduction can't get back in. And they, they need to put them back in there somehow because you're not building a fish ladder. Now... Maybe with this application, the DNR can come back and say, yeah, okay, you got money, you got a SAD, you got all this money. Now you can design and construct a fish ladder to allow the natural reproduction to get back in there. If you read the book, The Muskegon, you'll find out that 200 years ago, there were 150 pound fish that swam from Lake Michigan all the way to Higgins Lake to lay their eggs. Any other public comment? Anyone on Zoom? Higgins Lake Committee of the Whole permit for alterations to the Higgins Lake Lake Level Control Structure. Hello, Jay Shepke, Delegate Authority. Um, so this permit has nothing to do with banking water or changing the lake level. I'll leave it at that. Do you guys have any questions on what the permit is asking for? Anyone have any questions? Any questions, I'll have comments. Okay. Uh, again, this, this came up because we are in spring and we are below legal lake level when all the other lakes are higher. So mm -hmm. I guess I'll leave it at that. Question, comments? Um, yeah, Chase is correct. I don't see this as trying to change lake level. I think it's an effort to try and maintain the legal lake level because of deficiencies on the dam. Okay. Uh, everybody knows what I've been trying to do for years and years and years. I'm uh, I'm going to go through some, some documents that I'll be happy to share with Chase. Uh, there are some photos of uh, the dam back in August of 2007 that reflect a, uh, quite a few rocks in the opening of the dam. Spicer report reported there was scouring in the dam. In the dam. Chase reported there was scouring in the dam. Eagle reported there was no scouring in the dam. Now, who was right? Of course. The elevations were shot by an uh, engineering firm. There is up to 12 inches of scouring in the dam, in the opening of the dam. This, hopefully this uh, uh, request for a permit change, it really isn't a change, it's to repair the dam and get it back to where it was in 2007. There has not been, levels on Higgins have not averaged uh, at the legal level. They've averaged well, well, well below because the top of the LLCS is at the legal level. You can't, you can't bank water, you can't bank water. You can in Old, in Lake St. Helen, I believe. But you can't bank water in Higgins. You can leave all the, have all the gates closed. You're not gonna be banking any water. You got a 4.75 foot spillway. That's not gonna bank any water. Uh, commissioners in 2014 illegally removed a lot of rocks from the opening and through the uh, around the opening of the LLCS. Hopefully, this will get that back to where it should be. Uh, and I'll say the main thing with this app, this permit application. If this permit application would have been done, as I've asked for over a dozen years, we would not be in the litigation that we're in right now. It wouldn't be the commissioners that would be getting sued. It would have been Eagle. So this is gonna take the burden off this commission 
And if Eagle doesn't give us the permits or start moving forward and, and correcting the problems that we have on the Higgins Lake LLCS, that's the time. I've had my mic off the whole time. Uh, that's that's the time. It, uh, uh, you know, then then that'll be the time that we go after Eagle as opposed to, you know, going after this commission. So I I urge this commission to vote in favor of what our delegated authority is proposing. And uh, we can go from there. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? I'll add an additional comment. Okay. This is not to put rocks back in. This is just to put rocks to protect the exposed footing. Mm -hmm. It will still be two feet of flow based off the survey still going through there. Mm -hmm. Not like you're filling in a hole. It's just to cover the footing, which is what we've done on Houghton Lake. It's what you do on any lake when your footing's exposed. Want to, you want to protect it so it's not. I have some questions for the delegated authority. Why why won't Eagle allow us to do it without having to go and get a special permit filed? Well, I, I, I think it's it I think it's more of just covering your bases. They might <coughs> say no, you're good to go, or they might let you. You know, it's the same thing on on Houghton Lake. I still had to have the conversation with Eagle even when the gates were replaced, just to have the conversation. And they wanted to have the conversation. So it's more of this is more of the county covering their bases so that Eagle doesn't come back like, well, no, we want a permit under this and this. And it's just like, here it is. If you don't need it, then they'll say, we don't need it. We can go ahead. But it, when it comes to the state or Eagle, you just cover your bases. Madam Chair? Yes. I think that's a good issue. We need to send in for a permit before we do anything there. I'm sorry. I say I believe that's a good point. We need to send in for a permit before we do anything there, especially since this is such a tough, do a touchy covers, topic. You yeah, know, I do also. I think covers our yeah. tails. Because if we do something, even though we consider it just normal maintenance, they may not. You're correct. Board comment. Anybody have any more comments? Public comment. Good morning. Good morning. Please make sure the mic is on and state your name. Ann Meeks, Garish Township. Um, I know I can't ask questions, but I'm not sure what the permit is for. Is it to put rocks in front of the five foot spillway? Can I ask that? You can ask Chase after the meeting. Oh, okay. Um, a couple of things, just responding to some comments made earlier. It is possible to bank water on Higgins Lake. You just close the gates and when they should be open, and you bank water. Um, and the comment was made that there were rocks placed in the dam and illegally removed by this commission. That's not true. The rocks were illegally placed. DNR came in and said those rocks need to be removed, and they were. And I think most of you who've been here a while realize that. Um, <clears throat> I have some comments I'm going to read because I don't want to get off track. <laughs> So forgive me for that, but um, I'm not here to berate or bully you about water levels. You've had enough of that over the years. But I'm asking you to take into account the portion of the Natural Resources Protection Act that stipulates that legally set lake levels must, quote, provide the most benefit to the public, best protect the natural resources of the state, and preserve and protect the values of proper property developed around said lakes, unquote. In 2022, the DNR Fisheries asked the commission to allow flow of water at least 50, 50 cubic feet per second into the Cup River to support a million walleye fry that had been stocked in the river. <clears throat> the commissioner assigned to the dam at the time, Ken Melvin, complied with the request 
but the commission ordered him to close the dam and let the fish fend for themselves. This is not protecting the natural resources of the state. <clears throat> as far as protecting property, Gary's Township recently spent $26,000 this past fall to mitigate erosion at the township park. The historic gazebo that there has been moved farther from the shore twice in the last two decades. We were involved in that project at one time. And while many people have complained about having to buy more dock sections to be able to access their boats on hoist, just as many have had to buy stairs to get down an eroded bank to the water's edge and hoist for kayaks or canoes and other small boats that they used to keep on a sandy beach. And many have spent thousands of dollars to install boulder riprap in an attempt to stabilize their shoreline. This is not preserving and protecting the value of property on the lake. When Bob Fry was president of the Higgins Lake Property Owners Association, he ended every annual meeting admonishing members, remember, low water annoys, high water destroys. Even at the established legal level, this destruction of property occurs along the shores of Higgins Lake. With the ice push, it is worse. That's why a winter legal level was established in 2008. And now this commission has opposed an additional tax on property owners in a special assessment district on Higgins Lake for the purpose of maintaining a dam that's sole purpose is to retain water, higher water for the convenience of voters. This commission is currently involved in litigation over its operation of the dam and there's also a suit against the commission for establishing the SAD on Higgins Lake. I doubt if these legal challenges will ever end. Perhaps it's time to turn matters over to the circuit court to review the research, evaluate the effects of the current legal level and make a determination that focuses on the health of the lake and the ecology of the watershed. Thank you. Thank you. Any other public comment? <coughs> Ken Melvin again, Garish Township. I just got a, I hadn't seen this before. I got a copy of this from Chase about what the, what the proposed changes here are. Um, just off the top, this adding, adding more uh, plate to the top of the flop gates um, that's just going to make it easier to bank water. Putting uh, additional uh, height on the sheet piling, that's just going to allow more banking of water uh, because the water won't be able to go over the top when it's above the legal level. It'll, it'll be held back. Stop logs and the stop log. This whole thing, this is all about wave action. I, I think the recommended thing in the Spicer report was you put a rock barrier, big rocks, so the water can get through, but it breaks the wave action. So behind the, the rock wall there, you, you, it would be easier to do that and, and still maintain the current structure. Um, Uh, uh, the permanent opening right now, the last time I was out there, the sill plates on the flop gates were at the same level as the bottom of the opening for the four and a half foot opening. I don't know, you know, it can be controversial about whether they're scour or not, but there's not. So after I was first elected, I tried to get this board to do this, to ask for a change so that it could be over with and done. So now it's dragged on and on because I'm saying of this culture of, of the other commissioners that were controlling dams, didn't want that because that, that would throw a monkey wrench in their whole thing about banking water all the time without changing the lake level. So, I'm in favor of you pushing this on to the DEQ. 
let, let's let's get this issue because, like I said, you know, they 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 the fisheries already has what they want to do, and it has nothing to do with this. This 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 idea here. This is this is restricting keeping the opening so that the fish can't so that you don't have fish passage. Um, all of these things here are just going to make it easier to bank water. And by banking water, I mean, if you have the lake go an inch above summer level and you have gates that you can open to lower it back to the summer level and you don't do that, that is banking water. Now this last spring, Jody was gone. The, I don't, I don't know who was responsible, but the, Summer refill operation was illegally started too early, before ice out and before April 15th. You started refilling the lake. That is against the court order. Then you allowed the level by keeping the gates closed to go substantially above the summer level and you did not open gates to bring that level back down. That is banking water. You did it last spring. You might do it again. Now, we're in a whole different thing. Like I said, for 10 years, the water levels were going up. You can deny it. You can say whatever you want to. You can, you can try and say there's no climate change. There's no global warming. I mean, what are we, we're, we're, we're going into a record high temperature day again today. And we're not breaking the record high temperatures by one or two degrees like it used to be. We're shattering by 10 or 15 degrees. So you have warmer than normal, less precipitation, you're already way lower than what you were last year. You know, you tried to blame it all on me. I was doing something wrong. Well, here you've been doing it, and it's worse now than it was when I was there. How can you blame me for that anymore? So maybe something wasn't wrong with the way it was being done. Maybe there's been a change in the groundwater level. And another thing to add to this, maybe people don't want your water out of Higgins Lake anymore. How are... There are health department warnings not to eat too many fish out of Higgins Lake because of PFAS contamination. Where has the water been tested to find out how much PFAS is in Higgins Lake? Because these fish aren't living in the air, they're living in the lake. Where are they getting the PFAS? They're getting it out of the lake. So you got PFAS in the lake because the fish have it. Where is it coming from? Why aren't you, you know, this is something that you should be concerned about. Any more public comment? Can I ask Chase some more questions or we won't be able to do that? No. I know. We're we're okay. Anybody on Zoom? No? Okay. Um, with that being said, do we get voting on this? No, we're not voting on this till the meeting. Okay. I didn't know. Um, adjournment, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Then we come back and vote on it or? No, Wednesday. 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 Okay, thank you.